Hey guys, today we're going to do the shooting test part to the Super 9 uh, Pro Airsoft Sniper Rifle. Um, uh, I basically, in this review, it will kind of, all the negative things I said about it in my normal review, how many things broke on it, this review and the shooting test will kind of make up for that. It'll show you the power and accuracy of this rifle. Now, I'm just going to use a standard sight that comes with the gun. And uh, I'm going to show you how to load this and stick this in. And we're going to do a poor man's chrono. And for this entire thing, we're going to use 0.28 gram G&G arrangement BBs. These ones are the white ones. Uh, just in case that makes any difference. So, this, I'm just going to set a few things here. And go ahead and watch. So, this, I'm going to cock your rifle. Okay. Take your valve, make sure the brass part is towards the butt of the gun. And you take it, stick it in, make sure the holes align. Holes align. By the way, you can tell that is if you push the plunger, you'll see that it turns kind of a goldish color, so to say. Um, and I'll just hug back. You have to dry shoot this rifle, that's the one thing that I kind of don't like about it. So I just dry shoot all the time anyways. <laughs> so, to load this, go ahead and, uh, you make sure this arrow is pointed down. I don't know how well you can see that, but you make sure it's pointed towards the rest of the clip. Stick your thumb on it so it doesn't turn. Take this, pull down, if it's 25 BBs, uh, make sure not to... Like, make sure to keep your thumb on it, or else the BBs will fall out. So take a handful of BBs, stick it in through this hole right here, and they should load right into this. God dang it. Yeah. Now we'll just do a plan's crown. Yeah. Need the picture. Uh, can't. Don't like wasting BBs like that. So you stick it in, and then to do this. Take the whole, take this, the larger end, you stick it in this. Make sure there's no grass in the way, actually. You stick it in this, right there. Stick it in. Pull it down here to this. Pull this lever right here towards the rest of the clip. And it should clip right into place. Then, for this right here, you turn it, you turn it so the arrow's pointing towards the barrel of the gun. And it should pop kind of like that, and this should come up like that. So we're just going to do poor man's chrono, if you haven't seen this before. 300 FPS if it can go through both sides. Uh, 400 if it can go through there. 500 if it can go through the side. So, I'm just going to do that. Just pop the rifle real quick. Okay. Now this is for 300 FPS. We'll see if this can go all the way through. This off safety should have gone completely through. There's the entry, and there's the exit. So it's over 300, we can tell that now. I'm just gonna go ahead and gonna move on to the 400. That's 400, you set it like this, like that. So you can see the 400, I'm just gonna shoot off to the side. Oops. Like this. Okay, now that cracked it enough to where we could say that it's just about 400 FPS, maybe a tiny bit less. Now, just for the heck of it, we're going to do the 500 and shoot outside of the can. This isn't come back and hit me. Alright. Alright, so there's that dent. Left a really good dent. You can see the shape of the BB in the dent, too. Hit it right on where I wanted to. So I'd mark it baby just about 390 FPS with 0.28. But I mean, look at that damage it did right there. So we're gonna go ahead and do the shooting test now. Hey guys, uh. 
we're out, uh, we're gonna go out to 100 feet soon, and I said we're gonna shoot at 150 feet at the torso, but I changed my mind, I'm only gonna be shooting at, um, I'm only gonna be shooting at around 100 feet with the torso, and same with the tinfoil target, you'll be able to see the tinfoil targets kinda right in the bushes up in the upper right corner, and you can see the torso, it's on the lower right, and I'm gonna try to hit the white on the torso, and just try to hit the tinfoil target. Shot, ten shots at each. Um, I hit the torso like I think six out of ten. The first shot you guys heard was actually uh, me just making sure I didn't fire multiple shots at one time. Now five of these shots are fake. It's this one right here. Oh man, you're still zoomed in, aren't you? Nope, you're not. Okay, this one right here where my finger is. That's a miss. That was from before. That was from before. That was from before, and that was from before. Also, that was from before. So let's see, I hit one, two, three, four, five in the paper, that's good. Uh, yeah, so five out of ten, actually. Um, unless I hit something down here. That's not a hit. I can't see anything else. So yeah, five out of ten out of the torso, and I actually did pretty much just as good on this one. Let's see, I hit... The obvious hits are holes in it, they're gaping holes. So I got one, two, three, four. And then I, I think I did hit it once. That hit the cardboard somewhere on it. Um, I'm not quite sure where that was. So maybe I only hit it four times. So four times on the tinfoil and five times on the torso. So one thing to note, I was 100 feet away, so right at that bush right there. I had to lower the graphics on my camera because I didn't have enough time on it. Sorry about that. But, um, overall, yeah, that's not bad. Uh, the BBs curve up a bit. I wish I had, a a, um, .3 gram BBs. And I want to be able to glue in the barrel at some point, because it keeps falling off and it made my BBs all curve up. That's why you only, that's why I had these four right here. Right there. And one up here. I was just practicing on that. And, yeah, so... 
I think these are results you should expect from a rifle if you're using the right BBs and you adjust the hop-up right. Um, not a bad rifle at all, really. Um, yeah, this is what you should expect for $65. Uh, possibly $75, depending on where you buy it. I bought it for $65, so it's a bit less, better quality. By the way, this torso guy right here, he's homemade. I made him last night. I might be doing a review on how to make him. Now, you might think, oh, you just cut out cardboard. Well, to make it so that the bullets can't go completely through, you make it two, possibly three layers thick, and you put them together a certain way. And this, I will teach you how to make it. Holds your BBs. I don't know if you can see those right there. Grabs your BBs for you. But yeah, um, hit almost dead center here. Hit really close here, and these two are kind of up far. As you can see, there's lots of bolt holes in the leaves, like that. And yeah, it's not a bad rifle. Um, I recommend it, especially if you're beginning. It really will train you to be a better uh, marksman and a better shot. So yeah, I encourage you to get the rifle for what you want. And yeah, thank you for watching. Uh, I guess stay tuned for an airsoft war that me and my friends might be doing down in the canyon, so to say. That's what we call it. It's actually like a desert place with a bit of vegetation. I have like a half ghillie for my sniper and stuff. So yeah, it should be pretty fun. I don't know when that'll actually happen. It might happen in the spring or it might happen this week or something like that. But we'll see when it happens.